You had three things pointing at you there. We just got our pots and hands. Oh, it's so cute. I didn't know it was this size. You want to juice it the bag? <laughs> no way, babe. Our beds are coming today and I got a screwdriver set that's smaller than my hand. This you can so use this to see. Things. We only got like six Less than six hours of sleep last night, but I'm so hyper. Ooh. Oh, you guys are in for a treat today. I have so much homeware hauls to show you. So many homeware hauls to show you. <coughs> oh, I got it on camera. It's not that loud. <laughs> so loud. That wasn't even your loudest. Cause you didn't have all day to suck up all the air that you just had about how long have you been awake for 30 minutes actually it's not like you weren't breathing all night <laughs> but i swear you have louder morning coffees with elba sign <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to vlogmas day one i know this is crazy. December has come so, so fast. I think since June, my life has just been a whirlwind and we're, we're already here. It's Vlogmas day one. Whose kitchen is this? What is going on? Where are you? I know. First, let's watch this year's Vlogmas opening, which was created by an artist named Jackie Files. I'm so excited to show you guys and I'm gonna explain everything later. I have one suitcase just for Christmas stuff. I think I need to settle down. We are on our way to the airport. Moving to Canada, day one. How do you feel, babe? Excited. Excited. Getting a new house. Yeah, new house, new country, new life. You most looking forward to? Mm -hmm. NBA games. NBA games? Yeah. Raptors? Yeah. My family is probably going to try and get you into hockey too. Maple Leafs? Yeah, I like hockey, but I'm not very into it yet. Yeah. yeah. You will have to be because you're a Canadian now. We just arrived in Canada. You go through a machine and it prints out a ticket and I got my favorite number, 14. Which Albosan is saying is bad luck in Chinese culture. It means you are dying or like you are dead. Pronunciation of number four in Chinese is like die or dead. The one means you are you die hard. This time. I die hard. With the must die. So it's many, my favorite many, number. It's my birthday number. Many buildings in Hong Kong will skip the floor 14. So really? What about the fourth floor? More easy. Yeah, many buildings will skip four, 14, 24. Four and 14 and 24. So I was born to die. Everyone Aren't we all the Yeah. <laughs> we made it. Let the crazy week begin. 
<laughs> We can do it Gayao Gambate yo first home. I never thought it was gonna be in Canada. I thought it'd be in Hong Kong. We'd be in our Hong Kong one first. Oh, maybe we'd be born here. <laughs> I never would have thought like even two years ago, I always thought I would have to have my love and my family separate. It would never be in one place. I always envy people who have all their family and friends and their love in one place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk. I'm in Canada. We moved here. We actually moved in this place late last night. We finished unpacking at 2 a.m. And there's a little bit of an echo because we don't have everything here. There's not a lot of furniture. We do have some of the furniture from the previous tenant, like this stuff, because we got a package deal. But especially upstairs is very empty. And, um,. Yeah, we're living in Canada. We're also living in Hong Kong. I know a lot of people were confused. Maybe you didn't see previous vlogs where I explained that um, basically our house wasn't ready in Hong Kong yet to move into at the end of this year. So we are gonna move into that one in January and we're gonna have the two places and just go back and forth. It's gonna be like that probably until we have kids and we decide where they go to school and where we will live on the longer term, but either way, we will always be coming back and forth because we have families and work in, in both places. So yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. And then the biggest question is, where is Rosie? So I thought I could bring Rosie here and I was planning to do it and then I looked how I was supposed to do it and I realized it's kind of a bit tricky because going to Canada, she can be in the cabin with me. It's about a 15 and a half hour flight ride, so that would be fine. But coming back, Hong Kong and China, all of China, doesn't allow dogs to ride in cabin at all. Doesn't matter what size, doesn't matter anything, it can't ride in the cabin, it has to ride in cargo. And she's done that before because coming to Hong Kong from Japan, she had to do the same thing. I thought that it was just the airline, I didn't realize it was all airlines, but yeah. So, and you, the dog needs to be there four hours before and it takes about four hours after. So it would be a 24 hour day for her, traveling by herself in a lot of stress. So it's definitely not worth it for her for one month. So she is staying in Hong Kong. She's staying in our home. So she's in her own bed with someone very close to our family, someone that knows her very, very well and has known her for a long time. And yeah, she's doing well. I have, I get updates all the time. She's happy, she's eating a lot. And yeah, she's comfortable. So I think that that was a better choice. If we're gonna stay here, longer I need to look into other options if any of you guys have any ideas please let me know because I was even thinking to fly somewhere where she could travel in cabin somewhere closer like Korea or Japan or something and then do the cargo for a shorter flight that could be an option but then I have to do all the paperwork and vaccinations for those specific countries and yeah I just don't know if it'd be too much it's very, very, very tricky. And then also you guys want to know about Natalie. Is Natalie still working for me? What's going on with that? Yes, she is because we will be going back to Hong Kong and she's working for me from Hong Kong. And when I'm not there and we're not shooting, she basically does admin stuff such as translation. She translates every video into English and Chinese for my hearing impaired tater tots and also people who don't speak English for first language or I guess anyone the main reasons why you would need subtitles. And yeah, let me show you around what we have. There's this little kitchen area here. So this we got with the house. There's a very nice Italian stove here. We got the coffee machine yesterday. So we've got a few pieces in. This is the fridge. 
get my cute little slippers. I got my whole outfit on ASOS.com. They have the cutest pajamas always for every um, festive season. This is what my bedroom looks like. So we're just sleeping on a mattress on the floor right now. Our bed just arrived. So we're gonna be setting that up later today. So we'll have a bed to sleep on. This is my closet, which is also very blank. We don't have hangers yet. It literally looks like an elf's closet. It's literally all Christmas stuff. And my bathroom is here. This is where I just got ready. And you'll see more of around the house in my vlog. So I'm not really gonna do a house right now because we're still getting deliveries. Um, not everything set up. I have laundry drying here. Put that away. Um, so I'll do a proper one, but I, honestly, I feel like it's not even gonna be done when we leave here because we kind of came at a bad, well, a good time and a bad time. It, it's a good time because we came during Black Friday sales. So we got all of our home items at such a good deal. We got our mattress like a third of the price, all the appliances, yeah, like everything was 20, 30, 40% off. So we got such good deals. Um, that was great. The bad thing is, is that Canada Post was striking. I'm not sure if they still are at the moment. The post office is all backed up and deliveries are all late. So a lot of things that were supposed to arrive haven't yet. And a lot of things are, yeah, they're good. Basically, until we leave, we're gonna be receiving things, and even after we leave, the house isn't gonna be done. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, our food. This is our lunch we're gonna share. I forget what kind of bowl this is. It's just all different veggies and guacamole. Rice, and this is a Mexican burrito bowl. And I also got this. It has vegan probiotics in it, aloe vera, agave, lime, water. It's really good and soup. We're just on the way to the grocery store now. My brother's coming down with Morgan and my mom with her boyfriend. I think Blake and Morgan are staying the night. So we are just going to get some food and stuff to prepare and some other things we need. And we have about one hour to get there and back. So it's gonna be really, really fast. We just ordered pizzas. I'm gonna put away the groceries, still sitting there. And then I think we're gonna go to the, the Christmas market. Already dying. Oh, here goes <laughs> Were you supposed to have your first video up today? No, we filmed it and it goes up tomorrow. So we finished dinner and now we're on the way to the Christmas market. It stopped raining for a bit, so we're gonna try and get in there quickly, maybe for an hour, and see what it's like. I've never been to the market in Toronto before, so don't know what to expect. A market. <laughs> we just got in the wrong Uber. My dad works for Uber in the main office. <laughs> <laughs> we just got in the wrong Uber. I realized it. I wonder if she got in our Uber. <laughs> Classic mix up. Classic. So there's nothing inside? Yeah, you can put whatever you want inside. I want this plane, you know? Oh. They have a roll over there in the back and they put them inside here. Ah, oh, cool. It's really good. Which one do you guys want? Is this supposed to be a Christmas tree? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be a snowflake. Okay, just made them some hot chocolates and now I'm gonna set up their bed. We got our beds, let me show you. We just ordered ours on Structube, which I've never heard of before coming to Toronto, but apparently a lot of people 
order stuff for their condos on there. This is the other bedroom. Just want to show you guys before I do their duvet. Look at these cute bed sheets. They're really wrinkly because I just washed them and put them in the dryer and then now they're wrinkly and I don't have an iron but look at the design. I got them at Pottery Barn and they're so cute. There we go. It's ready. And here is the bathtub. I put a little bath bomb there. And I just tried this new shower gel. It's lavender. It's really nice before you go to bed. Really relaxing. Just setting up the sink here. <laughs> Smoke them to zero. I picked up too. My first time playing this game. I had the other one too. Okay. I have that anyway. Exactly. Girls win. We're playing girls versus boys. Oh, it's after midnight now. I'm ready for bed. I'm not ready for bed actually. I need to take off my makeup. But yeah, that's day one of Vlogmas all finished. Uh, my brother and his girlfriend Morgan are sleeping over tonight. And then tomorrow I'm meeting up with my friend Alyssa too. I think we're going to go around and go to maybe a Christmas market. And I don't know what else we're going to do actually. It's a Sunday. So tired. Yeah, I'm so tired. We're starting this vlogmas off with like very little sleep already usually. I'm like, I get really exhausted maybe halfway through, but yeah, it's been, it's been good. I, I guess the worst is over with all the moving and the busyness, but yeah, we're just really, really tired, but I don't know, it'll be okay. How, how do you like living in Canada so far? Mm. I like it. What's your favorite thing? What do you like about it? It's like very friendly. Oh, friendly. Multicultural. Multicultural, yeah. I like that uh, too. Very chill. Everybody's chill. Yeah. <laughs> so feeling relaxed here. Yeah. Good food too. Good food and yeah, very polite. Everyone's been so friendly and helpful. Like. Even the shops we went into to get stuff from like people just, I don't know, holding the door or helping us out on the street with directions when we're lost or recommending us things. Everyone's been really nice. What about anything weird or interesting? Oh, we can smell weed that people. <laughs> There's a lot of weed on the street now. Yeah. Literally always smell it. I think people saying sorry all the time. I didn't realize it when I lived here and people said Canadians always say sorry. I was like, no, we don't. But now that I've been removed and come back, I notice people say it all the time. I say it too, actually. But like, for example, the other day, we were going to get in the elevator and as someone was coming out at the same time because he got off on the same floor and he like apologized like, oh, sorry. <laughs> he was apologizing for exiting when he was supposed to just because we, we had to wait two seconds before we got in. But... Yeah, everyone always just says sorry to each other. It's it's kind of it's kind of nice, kind of nice. I know a lot of you guys live here or have visited here, so if you have any spots I should visit, whether it be a shop or I don't know a museum or something to do or a restaurant, anything cool you know in the city, please let me know in the comments or on any of our Instagram because we have no idea where to go. I know a lot of you guys want me to show you around Toronto, but honestly, I don't know where I'm going because even when I lived here and I was modeling. I didn't, I just like came into the city for modeling, like for an audition or for a job and I would go straight to the studio and then I would go back home. I was kind of scared to drive around the city because I was just a small town girl. So yeah, I really don't know what's happening around here. So let me know if you guys know. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get ready for bed now and then sleep. I need to figure out my schedule because before I would edit in the morning and I would post a vlog at night, but now my time zone is flipped. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's best. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Um, yeah, see you then. Good night. Oh, good night. I miss Rosie. I miss Rosie too.